Pancreatic cancer, often termed as a silent disease, poses significant challenges in early diagnosis and treatment. The pancreas, is a vital organ located behind the stomach, plays a crucial role in digestion and regulating blood sugar levels. Unfortunately, pancreatic cancer typically doesn't cause symptoms until it has reached an advanced stage, making early detection critical for improving treatment outcomes. In this video, we'll explore a few warning signs of pancreatic cancer that should not be ignored. Jaundice Jaundice is not just a hallmark sign of liver dysfunction, but can also indicate significant issues related to pancreatic health. The accumulation of bilirubin in the blood, manifesting as yellowing skin and eye whites, signals a blockage in the bile duct, often caused by a pancreatic tumor. This obstruction disrupts the normal flow of bile, crucial for digestion and waste elimination, leading to symptoms such as dark-colored urine, light or pale stools, and an uncomfortable itching sensation. The appearance of jaundice, especially in conjunction with other symptoms, necessitates immediate medical evaluation to determine its underlying cause. Abdominal and Back Pain The experience of ongoing pain in the abdominal region that extends to the back is a significant discomfort associated with pancreatic cancer. This pain arises as the growing tumor exerts pressure on surrounding organs and nerves, creating a deep, penetrating discomfort that may intensify post-meal or during lying positions. Such persistent pain, especially if it's new or gradually worsening, serves as a critical indicator of potential internal issues, warranting a thorough medical investigation. Weight Loss and Appetite Loss Unintentional weight loss and diminished appetite stand out as alarming signs, often accompanying advanced stages of cancer, including pancreatic. These symptoms result from the cancer's metabolic demands and the physical blockage created by the tumor, which can press against the stomach, reducing its capacity and creating a premature sensation of fullness. Nausea and Vomiting Nausea and vomiting can severely impact a person's quality of life, signaling significant gastrointestinal distress. In the context of pancreatic cancer, these symptoms may indicate that a tumor is obstructing the stomach's outlet or the small intestine preventing normal food passage and digestion. Such symptoms, particularly when persistent and coupled with other signs of pancreatic cancer, necessitate immediate medical exploration to diagnose and address the root cause. New Onset Diabetes The abrupt development of diabetes in individuals without traditional risk factors can be a surprising indicator of pancreatic cancer. The tumor's interference with the pancreas' insulin-producing functions disrupts normal blood sugar regulation, leading to diabetes. This new onset diabetes, particularly when occurring alongside other pancreatic cancer symptoms, warrants a comprehensive evaluation to rule out or confirm a pancreatic origin. Changes in stools Alterations in stool appearance, texture, and odor can provide critical clues to pancreatic issues. When a pancreatic tumor obstructs the flow of digestive enzymes, the body struggles to process and absorb fats, resulting in oily floating stools that may have an unusually foul smell. These digestive changes, particularly when sudden or severe, underscore the importance of seeking medical evaluation to investigate potential pancreatic involvement. Blood clots The formation of blood clots, especially deep vein thrombosis in the legs, presents an indirect but significant symptom of pancreatic cancer. These clots, characterized by swelling, redness, and pain in the affected area, can indicate the body's response to cancer. While DVT has various potential causes, its occurrence in conjunction with other pancreatic cancer signs enhances the urgency for medical assessment to uncover any underlying malignancies. Recognizing and acting upon these symptoms promptly can lead to earlier detection of pancreatic cancer which is essential for improving prognosis. 